You were chatting online with someone you thought was 13. I have interest in younger girls. That is a fantasy of mine. Is this the national news thing? You mean like Dateline idea? Yeah. That would be probably the cleanest, best pleasure. The cleanest, best pleasure is to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Yes, sir. Tonight, they're back. A string of suspects targeting children. It's a new undercover sting. It's funny when I saw this on Dateline. I'm like, that is so sick. A Dateline net crime to catch a predator. Like moths to a flame, they just keep coming. Good evening and welcome to Dateline. I'm Stone Phillips. And I'm Ann Curry. It has been more than two years now since we first began our series of reports investigating online sex predators. Five different states, 129 men exposed. Tonight, investigation number six. This time we've set up our hidden cameras in a rented house in rural Georgia. And once again, even men who've seen our reports show up at the door. We should let you know that some of what you will see and hear tonight is explicit. Here's Chris Hansen. I got an update on Scooby Doo's car. He's going to be in an orange Ford Explorer. On this stormy summer night on a winding country road, a potential sex predator slowly approaches a house where he believes a child is waiting for him. He's driven a long way for this meeting, almost two hours. There he is, there he is. There he is. But the driver won't find a young girl inside. Instead, a Dateline investigative team awaits his arrival. All right, Emmy, he's coming in. Why is this man making such a long trip in the dead of night? Perhaps because he believes a 15-year-old girl is alone inside, ready to have sex with him. Open the door and call him. He's coming. But his journey didn't begin today. It began more than a week earlier when he entered a Yahoo Georgia chat room and decided to hit on a decoy, an adult posing as a 15-year-old. It didn't take long for the 23-year-old screen named Scooby-Doo at 101 to steer the chat towards sex. He asked all kinds of sexual questions like, what positions have you tried? You like doggy? The decoy says, I never did doggy before. And Scooby-Doo says, well, if we ever have sex, I'll introduce it to you. But I switch positions a lot, so you're bound to learn a few new tricks. Now, the man with the bag of tricks is walking in our house. We hired a very young-looking 19-year-old to play the part of the girl. Hey. Hey. Took you a while to get here. Yeah, well, someone can't get good directions of where they live. I'm just taking stuff out of the dryer. It'll take a second. I make you some sweet tea. All right. I have to do something to keep you a right. You can take your tea. I just gotta finish taking the stuff out. You'd never guess, by the way this man confidently walks into our house, that he's seen Dateline's investigations into Internet sex predators before. And he's still willing to risk being exposed on national television. You have a hard time finding the place? Or? Yeah, man. You got lost, huh? Yeah, who are you? Yeah. Well, who are you? I'm Dennis. In our latest hidden camera operation, this time in rural forts in Georgia, 90 minutes south of Atlanta, it doesn't surprise us that the chat rooms are full of men aware of our previous investigation. Men who want to have sex with a minor, but are concerned they might be caught on tape. It's actually been referenced by name at this point. Did you ever see to catch a predator? Do you think that this is uh, a deterrent in some ways They're for people coming up. over? I mean, they're not coming over because they're afraid that it's media. Del Harvey, her screen name, is a member of Perverted Justice, the online watchdog group dedicated to catching Internet sex predators. It's just a matter of getting in the door. Dateline paid Perverted Justice a consultant's fee to do what it usually does, go into chat rooms posing as 13 to 15-year-olds home alone, interested in sex. Some decoys pretend to be eager about sex. That's because experts we've spoken to say young teens are often curious, even precocious, when it comes to chatting online about sex without knowing the potential lifelong repercussions of being molested by an adult. I don't know if anybody's in chat. While it's encouraging to hear our investigations have scared off some potential child molesters, others like Scooby-Doo at 101 obviously didn't get the message. His real name is Dennis Colson, a construction worker from Atlanta. He says he's here to meet a girl named Izzy. And how old is Izzy? She told me she's 18. So that'd be cool then, because she's of legal age. No, I wasn't going to do anything. The problem with that, though, yeah. 
is that I have the transcript of your online chat. Okay. So you want to start again and tell the story from the top? Yeah. Okay. Story is 15. And what did you guys talk about? Just a lot of different things that I should have been talking about. Give me an example. Ask her if she was a virgin. If she was a virgin. Yes, sir. And why would you ask that question of a 15-year-old I really do not girl? have, I don't know, I'm sorry, I apologize. But I really do not have any plans to do anything tonight. Did you bring condoms? No, no, sir, I have condoms in my car. You have, well then, so you did bring condoms. Yes, but they are for my, I mean, I have them for safety. But, but I mean, it's just hanging out. I wasn't going to do, I swear, seriously, oh, swear, so, so, so I was not going to do anything. But you talk about jail. I know. Oh, you can't go to jail for not doing anything. When I start to read some of his chat log, he gets up and starts pacing. What positions have you tried? Oh, God, I'm an idiot. You know how to ride? You like doggy? And then you ask... Oh, God, stop. Okay. Just okay, one more. What you say, do you, you ask saying, okay, if you okay. delete all those IMs when you're done, I'd hate to have your mom get nosy. Yeah. Now it's time to tell him something he already knows. Have you ever seen the program Dateline NBC? Yes, I probably have. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Have you ever seen the stories where yes, yes, yes. men come to the house trying to meet yes, teens? but I wasn't trying to do that, I promise. Well, i got to tell you something. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story mm -hmm. on guys, oh, men, trying to meet <laughs> teens on the Internet. It was stupid. I'm a stupid man. That's, that's, that's not all I can say. Um, but I was like, leave. He's free to leave, but he won't get very far. Perverted Justice has joined forces with the Harris County Sheriff's Office, providing chat logs and phone records, evidence needed to make an arrest. Here in Georgia, if a man makes a date online for sex with someone he believes to be a minor, it's a felony. Sheriff's Office, get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! He's arrested. Put your hands behind your back. Please don't Put your hands behind your back. Please. Please. Oh my God, my life is ruined. Can you just shoot me? Can y'all just shoot me? No. And taken away. Oh my God. I'm an idiot. And he's brought into a room with an investigator from the Harris County Sheriff's Office. How'd you go to house, Dennis? That was awesome. <laughs> that was the best day of my life right there. You'll hear more of Scooby Doo's interview with police later. I never should have said any of that. Is this guy on his way here? With men all over the internet admitting they've seen our To Catch a Predator series, we wondered if it would stop a lot of them from trying to hook up with children. Or will there be many others like Scooby-Doo still brazen enough to show up at our house? Go on in. Wait and see. Got someone in the driveway. Someone in the driveway. Coming. The team inside Dateline's hidden camera house quickly moves into position. Coming up, driveway, battle stations, battle stations. A man who made a date online for sex with a young girl has shown up earlier than expected. Our decoy, playing the part of a young girl, heads to the front door to wave the man in. Hey, come on in. He's 32-year-old Christopher Xavier Cannon, here to meet a 15-year-old virgin. At least that's what he was told. Turns out he's a media director at his church, a volunteer position working with young teens, which makes his sexually explicit online chat all the more disturbing. Using the screen name Xavier01, he asks the girl if she's ever had an orgasm. The decoy says, I don't think so, and Xavier01 says, good. Then he asks her, Do you want to be on top or bottom? I'm not sure. Which is better? We'll have to see where you fit best, if you know what I mean. Oh, I see. I think I know. <laughs> or we can do doggy style. Sorry, if I don't put this stuff in the washer right away, it just wrinkles. But I made some sweet tea, so just make yourself a glass. Can I use your restroom? Oh, why don't you uh, have a seat real quick? Oh, yeah, I know what this is. Yeah. I know what this was. I, don't, I just went to test it. That's all. Okay, no, no, sir. Thanks. I knew what it was. What, what do you think it was? Nothing. He heads out the door right into the arms of the Harris County Sheriff's Department. Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! I knew what it was. I knew what it was. I knew what it was. As our investigation continues here in rural Georgia, it becomes clear there are plenty of other men who seem to know about our investigations but show up anyway. Yes, yeah, slowing down, pulling in the driveway. Emily, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready to go. 
Here comes Need a Friend to Talk to 2005. He drove four hours to get here. All right, go ahead and open the door. Hey, come on in. Okay. It's raining outside, so I'll meet you in. I just gotta throw this in the dryer real quick. Need a friend to talk to is really 25-year-old John Adam Daniels, a carpenter. He thinks he's here to meet a 13-year-old virgin named Nina. Online, he asks her if she wants to try anal sex and if he can perform oral sex on her. After the decoy agrees, she tells him she's home alone, and he asks to spend the night. He's come prepared. He's brought his overnight bag, it looks like. Sorry, I had to do laundry right away. I had to have something cute to wear tonight. Did you try some of my sweet tea? Oh, that's tea. Sorry, I'm almost done. Okay, babe. Did you bring me anything? Yes, I did. What did you bring me? I drank in some um, cake cats. Looks like you brought enough stuff to move in. Yes. Why don't you have a seat there? And like some of the others, need a friend to talk to appears to know what he's walked into. Am I being taped? You are being taped. Oh, crap. Am I going to be up be arrested? That's not up to me. You admit right here that you could be in trouble if anybody found out that a 25-year-old yes. was meeting a 13 Yes, sir. I, I, I thought it was a bad idea to finally be king, so... But if you thought it was such a bad idea, why did you do it anyway? I don't know, so... I mean, you started talking... And 45 minutes into the conversation, you say, have you ever seen a man's blank? Meaning, yes, yes, I'm sorry, so. You ask what size bra she wears. Minutes later, you ask if she would like to move in with you. Yes, sir. What are you thinking here, Al? I'm completely and totally stupid, I'm sorry. Can I hey, you, sir? Just like all the men who show up at our house, he's free to leave. Since he's seen our reports before, he probably knows he won't be free for long. And there's nowhere to run. Get on the ground! Get, get, get on the get ground! ground. Get down, 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 down! And the parade continues. Walking up the walk towards the door. Hi, come on in. I now back up, back up, back up. He's right there. Keep going. Here comes another man who, despite seeing our previous broadcasts, is willing to take the risk of showing up at a stranger's house to possibly have sex with a minor. He's 22-year-old Matthew Cogburn. Yesterday was his birthday. He's here to meet a decoy pretending to be a 14-year-old. This clean-cut, all-American-looking man has a MySpace page where he says, Jesus rocks, and lists God as his number one hero. But when he goes into a Yahoo chat room, he seems like another person. His chat with a girl he thinks is 14 is so graphic, much of it can't be shown. He does ask the decoy if her house is secluded, so if they use the jacuzzi, you can moan and squeal all you want. Nice house. Thank you. Did you have a hard time getting here? Well, the road that I was looking for didn't, didn't show up. <sighs> Why don't you have a seat there and uh, get comfortable from that? I had a feeling this was going to happen. You had a feeling what was going to happen. Go ahead, sit on, please. No, I, I... Well, no, this is, I need to talk to you about a couple of things, and I think you're going to want to talk about it. It's going to take a few minutes, so why don't you have a seat? Is this going to be on the national uh, news? I'm sorry, it'd be on what? Is this the national news thing? NBC? Yeah. You mean like Dateline NBC? Yeah. What was your plan here today? I, I can't answer that as I want to because I've been in a struggle myself with what I want to do because I'm I'm still a virgin and I think it's stupid that I did this. How old are you? I'm 22. 22. And how old was the girl you were chatting with online? Uh, the girl said she was 13 or 14. 13 or 14. And you thought that it would be okay to come over here and visit a young girl home alone? I wanted to think it was okay, but I just... Now... I'm looking at this chat log here. 16 minutes into this discussion, you ask if she can do deep throat. Explain that to me. No reason to explain it. No reason to explain How do you feel about sex? You on birth control or are you sticking with condoms? You got toys? Is, is there any... Um... Well, I want you to... I, I, square that with what's on your 
MySpace website where you talk about Jesus rocks. We're going to do this too. You'll hear more about this man's inner struggle after he's in police custody. Jesus, get on the ground! Get down on the ground! But there are many more potential sex predators about to keep their date with Dateline. More examples of the potential danger facing children on the Internet. The cleanest, best pleasure. The cleanest, best pleasure is to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Yes, sir. As law enforcement arrests one suspect after another, what happens next is almost inevitable. One of our invited guests drives by, spots them, and takes off. He actually watched it out front and was leaving. But Lieutenant Sven Armburst of the Harris County Sheriff's Office is not about to let 36-year-old George Cleary get away. He actually came by three times. Did he really? Yeah. After Cleary sees this man being arrested, he heads for the highway. That's where detectives stop him. The 36-year-old, who makes his living as a pizza delivery man, drove two hours for the chance to have sex with a 14-year-old he met online. Using the screen name Broken Empires, he asks the decoy very personal questions, like her bra size and do you shave down there. The decoy says, yeah, a little because of my bathing suit. Broken Empires says, cool. And when the decoy asks him what kind of girls he likes, he says small, skinny, beautiful, sexy, and young. He told the decoy he would bring movies, CDs, and condoms. I see you brought condoms. Yes, she asked me to. Intimate lubricant. What's this for? Uh, she was going to give me a massage. Oh. While one man was scared off when he saw police activity, others are wary even when all is quiet. There he is. There he is. This man pulling into our driveway is 38-year-old Peter Seacott, screen name Don Cheech. Online, he goes into graphic detail of how he'd like to perform oral sex on the boy posing as a 14-year-old. The decoy plays along, but Don Cheech repeatedly says he's afraid of getting in trouble. We think we know why. Listen as this female decoy pretending to be Brian talks to Don Cheech on the phone. No, what are you talking about? What's Dateline? What is it? It's like cops or something? I've seen cops, you know. Despite his fears of being caught in our report, the 38-year-old shows up anyway. Come on, get in out of the rain. You're going to get yourself all wet. Dell from Perverted Justice now takes over the role of the boy and tries to convince the man to come inside. But Don Cheech seems very reluctant. Hey, bro! Come on in! Come on, I gotta finish cleaning up the kitchen. I told you to come on in out of the range, you not hear me? He wants to be sure Dell is really the boy he came to see. Pull your head off. He's suspicious. He's leaving again. Yeah, he's... he's... After Dell refuses to take her hat off, the 38-year-old heads back to his car. That's when law enforcement moves in and arrests him. Put the camera out of my face, please. And as you're about to see, there are more potential predators like Don Cheech who don't stay long. Dell's going to go out and try and get him. He's looking for a black female, so we're trying to pull this out. Meet 43-year-old James Klein, a married man with three children. He's here to meet a girl who told him she was 15. Online, he calls himself Hold You Closer 2003. He asks the girl if she's ever experienced oral sex. The decoy tells him no. And he says, I can tell you one thing, my tongue would be all over you. Your mouth, your nipples, down between your legs too. Now, Hold You Closer 2003 is walking in our house. I gotta throw my laundry in, but I made you tea. Thank you. You're welcome. How you doing? Pretty good. Good. Why don't you have a seat right over there? Did you find the place okay? Huh? Did you find the place okay? No, I didn't. It took you a while. Huh? Did you get lost? I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you here tonight? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. He may be able to run away from us, but because Georgia authorities believe his chat log showed intent to have sex with a minor, he's arrested. 
The next man you're about to meet not only sits down for an interview, he actually admits it's likely he would have taken the virginity of a 13-year-old girl, if she was willing. Maddie. Hey, I'm up here. He's 20-year-old Cody Green, screen name Perfect Buddy Georgia. He's been chatting online with a girl posing as a 13-year-old virgin named Maddie Girl 92. He tells the decoy, I definitely appreciate being your first. The decoy says, really? You don't mind I'm a virgin? Perfect Buddy answers, if you don't mind me taking it from you, I actually would love it and never have been with a virgin. Perfect Buddy then sends not one but eight different pictures of his genitals. The chat lasts for two days. And then he shows up at our house. Yeah, I made some tea and it's on the table. He tries to follow the decoy. Should you have a seat right in that chair? Instead, Please he sir. runs into me. Please, sir, I really drove this far for no reason. You drove this far for no reason? Yes, sir, I swear. Perfect Buddy says he was really just looking for a friend, nothing more. But then his story seems to change. Please, I really, I swear, sir, I'm a desperate person. I need a girl in my life, and I'm, if she really wanted to be my friend, that would be all I needed from her. She said she was 13. She did. I'm sorry, sir. I have interest in younger girls. That has just been a fantasy of mine. And a fantasy? Yes, sir. Do you know it violates Georgia law? Yes, sir. Did you say you are ready to have my thang in your mouth? Yes, sir. What do you mean by that? Are you ready to have my d- in your mouth? Because she was she was going with it. She was. Oh, so she wanted it. That's what it it's seemed like fault. to me. It's not her fault at all. She made you come over here. I came here for yes, for reasons like that. But if she really didn't want it, sir, I swear to you, I would have. Never tried it. But if she was open to the idea... Yes. You would have had sex with a 13-year-old girl. Probably, yeah. I'm sorry, I know you think it's bad, but that's what it is. And that would be probably the cleanest, best pleasure, I would say. The cleanest, best pleasure... Yes, sir. ...is to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Yes, sir. Are you her father or something like that? I'll get to that in a minute. Please tell me this, sir. Am I going to be in trouble for this? I want to ask you one more question. You said you had to go see your PO, yes, sir. your parole officer. Yes, sir. What are you on parole for? I got a DUI. Anything else? I got a hit and run charge the other day. A hit and run charge? Yes, sir. So you got a DWI, a hit and run charge. Well, that's something you got to know. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Yes, sir. We're doing stories on adults who try to meet teens on the internet for sex. So what happens to these men after they're arrested? On the ground! On the ground! On the ground! You'll hear more incredible revelations as the suspects tell their stories to the police. It's like this is so sick. Why did I do this? Welcome back to our latest investigation into online sex predators. This time we're in rural Harris County, Georgia, and among the law officers on this case, a Secret Service agent. So far we've seen a series of men trying to meet underage teens in internet chat rooms. Now these suspects are under arrest and heading into a police interrogation room. Again, some of what you'll see and hear is explicit. Here's Chris Hansen. It was stupid. I'm a stupid man. That's After Dateline right. confronts a potential sex offender here in rural forts in Georgia, I'm free to leave. I'm free to leave. What's going to happen? Down on the ground. Down on the ground. Law enforcement, working with the online watchdog group Perverted Justice, steps in. Put your hands behind your back. Even the U.S. Marshals and Secret Service are involved. Remember Scooby-Doo at 101, 23-year-old Dennis Colson? He made plans to teach new sex tricks to a girl he was told was 15. Oh, my God. I'm a idiot. After he's arrested, he's put in an unmarked car and taken to this EMS station where he'll be questioned by law enforcement. His car is searched. The police find directions to the house along with condoms and marijuana. Colson is then brought to a room where he waits to be interrogated. That's where he meets Harris County Sheriff Mike Jolly, 
who finds out this isn't Coulson's first run-in with the law. <laughs> I'd like to get out of jail free card. There's no get out of jail free card. No, uh, but from my parents, what I'm saying. Oh, you've already used it one time? I, I, I used it one time. No, it's done now, especially with this. It's over. <laughs> it's what, what over. What you've been picked up for? for? Uh, let's just not talk about it. Well, I mean, we're going to find out. Yeah. Turns lie. out Scooby-Doo has had several prior charges. Coulson, he had four prior charges from theft to simple battery, simple assault. Uh, some of these are aggravated type crimes. But he was never convicted. Tonight, he'll have four more charges added to the list. Enticing a child for indecent purposes, obscene internet contact, criminal attempted child molestation, and possession of marijuana. One charge was later dropped. Right. Scooby-Doo is brought into the interrogation room. Oh my God, this was a crime. I can't cry. That's okay. Investigators read Coulson his rights. I have to advise you that you, one, have the right to remain silent. And start asking him questions. And what screen name did you use since the 14th of July? Investigator Gary Lewis shows the 23-year-old a copy of the chat he had with a decoy playing a 15-year-old. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, explicit I definitely shouldn't have said. Yeah. Let's not read that. Saw that. Let's just let's not read it. I never should have said any of that. Less than five minutes after uh, oh. y'all were communicating, she relayed to you that she was 15 years old. I'm yeah. curious as to why you continued your conversation. Because I'm retarded. You're retarded. Because I'm retarded. Because I'm so I was bored as and I was just looking for conversation and I was conversating. I'm not, I'm not trying to clear it up. I still feel, I, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's bad. I mean, why would you ask a 15 year old girl I think we need if to she's still a stop. virgin? I think we should go ahead and stop. Scooby-Doo ends the interview pretty quickly. My name is Tony. I work with the sheriff's office and this is Teresa. But sheriff's investigators like Tony Knotts and a secret service agent disguised because of her undercover work have others to question. Basically, you've been caught in a sting operation, of course. That's why you're in handcuffs. Christopher Cannon is the 32-year-old volunteer church director who mentioned several sexual positions he'd like to try with a girl posing as a 15-year-old. He's the one who ran as soon as he saw me. Oh, why don't you uh, have a seat real quick? Oh, yeah, I know what this is. No, please, I need you. Yeah, I know what this was. I, I just went to test it, that's all. Okay. But that's not what he tells investigators. It's funny. When I saw this on date one, yeah. a few months ago, or yeah. whenever. You show up in the middle of it. Yes, and I'm like, that is so sick. Why did I do this? The investigator reminds him he'd been chatting online with the decoy for more than a week, and many times the chat turned sexual. I mean, just playing around with her, but not my, my intention wasn't to do it. I even wanted to reject it. Yeah, but you drove 115 miles. I know. I, I kept saying to myself, why am I coming over here? Why, what are you doing? What are you doing? Turn around, turn around. Trust me, I wanted to turn around. Help me understand, because I'm, I'm kind of lost when you say that you, you didn't want to come, but I, you're here. Part of me was like, you know, they were just turn around. And part of me was like, you know, it's the first weekend you had to yourself. Just go out there, you know, hang out a little bit. Don't do anything silly. Well, why would you even have a, a sexual conversation with a, with a 15-year-old? I really tried to avoid her when I first met her. Um, every time I get online, you know, she initiate the conversation you said you didn't initiate the conversation but actually you did you the first she never talked to you you said hello Nada, because you saw her yeah. in a chat room yeah and how are you doing today that was the first initiation on your part yeah yeah the initiate yeah just chatting you Speaking. asked her if, if she's horny now and then you asked her if she's wet now why would you care if a 15 year old is wet stupidity man i mean i don't know why it's just when you tell dumb. her you'll be gentle what are you referring to when you're talking about being gentle just being with her nothing sexually touching her and all that Chris, we don't, we, we've been doing this too just, long. Yeah, just... I understand. I understand y'all go through I, I just saw you do the sign of the cross, so I know you're, uh, you're, you're probably a religious man. I'm about to <laughs> And you would probably feel better if you... If it hey, did, never happened. Hey, yeah, never happened. She opened the door and said, come on in. Another man who probably wishes it never happened was someone who also ran from us. That's more questions for you, sir. But did talk to police. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Remember 43 year old Jim Klein? Online, he made plans to lick a 15 year old all over. He admits to investigators he's been married for 20 years and has three children, ages 11, 13, and 15. How would you feel if this was your 15 year old or your 11 year old or your 13 year old? How would you feel? I'd feel awful. 
No. That's it, just awful. No, I mean, no, I mean, I mean, you were pretty much down here tonight, 100 miles away from home, to do what you were gonna do and damage this child's mind for the rest of her life. Sex, maybe sex to you, but to this child, 15, she's gotta live with this for the rest of her life. And Klein actually uh, does admit too. he was planning on staying the night. I was gonna leave tomorrow morning. Where were you gonna stay at? Uh, she said I could stay there. She said the house it was, says it was a big house. Where were you going to sleep at? Did y'all discuss any of those options there? No. And you brought four movies and you arrived at 9.30 at night? Yes. You want to stay up all night watching movies? Yeah. I mean, you know, if she wanted to watch all four, we would have watched all four. Would you have done anything else if she wanted to do anything else? Um, you know, it was talked about. Klein says he had two glasses of wine before he started chatting online, and it clouded his judgment. But that doesn't explain why he showed up the next day, apparently stone-cold sober. I was seriously considering not even coming down here, and I was just saying, you know, I, I, just, don't, I just don't feel comfortable about this. I don't feel good about this. I just don't think it's a good idea. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! This man also realizes it wasn't a good idea. He's the religious 22-year-old who said he was conflicted about meeting a 14-year-old after a sexually graphic online chat. I've been in a, I'm not gonna say a mental struggle, but I'm still a virgin and I'm having, I've been having trouble. He tells investigators that this isn't the first time he's gone to visit someone he met online. In fact, he says he met his last girlfriend on MySpace. We dated for five and a half months, but it was nothing sexual, nothing, you know, just good, clean relationship. And she wasn't the only one. I have met girls before, but I haven't done anything. Mm -hmm, I just, mm -hmm. I couldn't, just because of my spirituality. And I didn't solely, deep down, I didn't have any intentions to do anything. I've been able to talk the way I've talked, and this is my punishment. And his punishment, like the other men caught in this investigation, begins when they are taken in a van to the county jail. And turn your head to your left. Where they are photographed. Press down. Fingerprinted. Hey kids, don't f*** up. <laughs> it's a bad idea. And put behind bars awaiting a bond hearing. Most of the men have to wait 48 hours in jail until the judge will see them. His bond would then be set at 25000 While most of the men say they would not have had sex with a minor, none have had a chance to make a plea. That should happen sometime this fall. So far, you've met seven men who showed up at our undercover house. And despite all our previous investigations, there are more on the way. And you won't want to miss their stories. And watch what happens when this man tries to run from police. South, south, guys. It was a to catch a predator first. This man made plans online for a threesome with an underage teen and his adult girlfriend. Are you ready? You can hear me? Okay, great. 35-year-old Marvin Smith, being waved into our house by a decoy, said he and his girlfriend wanted to have sex with a girl who told them she was a 15-year-old virgin. Come on in. Minutes. <laughs> Online, he calls himself Southwest Georgia Male, yes. His chat is one of the most graphic and disturbing we've come across. At first, he offers the decoy, Aaron Lynn B., $250. When she asks, why do you want to give me money? He says, because I want you. Then he tells her about another girl he met online. She was 15 like you. Her mom was at work. Okay. She invited me over. Had never had sex. Oh. Her and her friend. He goes on to say that the two girls performed oral sex on him, and then he describes in detail how he claims to have taken one of the girls' virginity. And he doesn't stop there. After he sends pornography, he then introduces the decoy to a woman who calls herself Phyllis, his girlfriend, and says she wants to be there with us. 
Phyllis then apparently gets on the computer herself and starts chatting with Aaron Lynn B and explains how it would work. She says her boyfriend would have sex with both of us. As he's doing one of us, he would want us to play with each other. To verify Phyllis was real, a decoy from Perverted Justice spoke to her on the phone. Phyllis, how are you? I'm Aaron. Phyllis, the girlfriend, doesn't show up. She apparently had to work. But Southwest Georgia male, yes, does. And is now in our house and in hot pursuit of our decoy. I had a good chance to get a hug. Have a seat. But as the decoy Hi, walks behind the curtain, the man sees our camera crew and runs. He saw Ron. He's coming out. He's coming out. And he keeps on running, even after sheriff's deputies order him to stop. <laughs> Finally, an officer's taser knocks him to the ground. After he's arrested, he's taken in for questioning. This man with the incredibly vulgar chat reveals something that, ironically, no longer surprises us. I was a menace in the shirt. <laughs> what church you go to? My, my dad was a preacher in the Baptist church. I don't want to go to prison. It also turns out he's married and worried about his wife finding out. M- Mr. Geary. Yes, what is that? Hmm? My lose everything I got. Do what? My lose everything I have, Mr. Gay. The 35-year-old asks to speak to a lawyer, and the interview is over. He's then taken to the county jail, fingerprinted, photographed, and put behind bars. Is Marvin Harrison Smith your true name? Yes, sir. The next day, he goes before a judge, and bail is set. All right, that's a total of 35000 Back at the house, there are more suspected predators on the way. This man pulling into our driveway is 38-year-old David Hilbish. He builds tunnels. In the chat, he had uh, mentions uh, molesting another 15-year-old. He's been chatting with a decoy pretending to be 14. He says he'd rather not come to her home. He'd like to take her to a hotel. Emily, wave him in. Here he comes. Good job. Good job. We got him coming. Online, using the screen name Tunnels12000, he tells the decoy named Tracy in Excess this isn't his first time meeting a teen on the Internet. I did it with a 15-year-old before, and I came real close to getting caught. I didn't have sex with her, everything but. He later says he was questioned by detectives but never charged. Now he wants to have sex with Tracy. I want all of you, Tracy, in every way. You show me, okay? Oh, well, I just gotta throw this in the dryer real quick or everything's gonna get up. Wrinkled. Okay, this will only take a second. <laughs> I'm sorry you couldn't bring your bike. I would have loved to see it. Do you have a seat right over there, please? How you doing? Good. Good. So, when I confront the 38-year-old, his memory seems a bit foggy. And so you were chatting with a girl named Tracy. Right. And how old is Tracy? I don't have no idea. The problem for you, David, is that I have the chat right here. How old are you again? Not sure if I read that right. 14. She says she's 14 right here, right? I guess so. So what you said before was not true. Okay. Have you ever done this before? No. Have you ever been with an underage girl before? No, not sexually, no. I did it with a 15-year-old before, and I came real close to being caught. We stay out all night and fall asleep in my truck. I didn't break the law that I knew of, and the police officer told me that. And and why? I don't know what the law is, but he didn't. He questioned me. I went back home that night, and he called me Monday. When I read him some of what he wrote in his chat log, he first tries to blame the girl. I would do it in a minute with you hoping I would stay out of jail. You ask her if she likes oral sex. She asked me several things also. Does that make it right? No, and she invited me here. So because a 14-year-old girl invites you to come over, it's okay no, for a... It right. It's wrong. I admit I'm wrong. Why did you do it? There is no reason. I'd want to stay all night. Did you bring uh, any alcohol with you? Yeah. 
Yeah. And what did you bring exactly? Exactly what she asked. When I asked him what his plan was here tonight, he says he's so this, not really sure. If this 14-year-old girl was willing to have sex with you, would you have had sex with her? I can't say for sure. I never did with that other girl. And that's the reason why. And that's the reason why why? She was underage. Aren't there any girls or women of, of uh, legal age that you could date? I, mean, I what? have a fiancé. Huh? I have a fiancé. You have a fiancé. And how do you suppose this is going to play when she finds out about this? It's not going to play at all. Now it's time to tell Tunnels 12,000 what he's walked into. I need to tell you that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and, and we're doing a story on adults who meet teens online and then try to meet them in person for sex. If there's anything else you want to tell us about this situation... Not, uh, you know, I can't understand how y'all legally been able to do this. Oh, we can. Okay. Now, then he says he'd like to say something more. I just need to uh, stay off the internet, maybe. He says he's not a predator. He's a lonely man raising two children alone who uses the internet to meet women. A predator is somebody that constantly does that. I don't do that. I would prefer to have someone my age that would prefer to have me. But if some female off makes an offer to you and you're lonely already, it's tempting for a person. What made this so tempting for you? Being lonely. Anything else you'd like to tell us? No. Are y'all gonna get me arrested when I leave? Had he seen our previous reports, he would know exactly what's going to happen next. Sheriff's office, get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get, 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 get down! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Lay down! And an update on one of the most shocking men caught in our To Catch a Predator series, a rabbi. You've got to stop this. We'll see. <laughs> so how can I help you? A year ago, 54-year-old David Kay was caught in one of our To Catch a Predator investigations, trying to meet a 13-year-old boy for sex. Turns out Kay was a rabbi. You know I'm in trouble, and I know I'm in trouble. Just last week, he was convicted in federal court of attempting to entice a minor to engage in an illegal sexual act and of traveling with intent to engage in illicit sexual conduct. He's behind bars awaiting sentencing. What was your plan here today in this house? Hang out and whatever, sir. Hang out and whatever. I don't know. I mean, nothing was really going to happen or nothing. I mean, hey. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Hands out, hands out. Next week, our investigation in Harris County, Georgia, continues. Whoa! You're a mature guy with a very successful career in the military. Yes, sir. What is a guy like you doing online oh, no, with somebody was, who's 14 just, years old? I was just fooling around. You'll hear more from this soldier and many other men who show up at our house hoping to right. meet a young teen home alone. Come on in, happy, happy. Good. That's coming up one week from Friday on the next To Catch a Predator. So how can a parent protect a child from an Internet predator? You'll find a complete online safety guide on our website, including advice on how to talk to your kids and how to monitor their Internet use. Just log on to dateline.msnbc.com. Up next, our second hour of Dateline, Matt Lauer's exclusive interview with Deborah LaFave. She's the young Florida school teacher who had intimate relations with a 14-year-old student. She's been called a female sex predator. Matt's interview next. I'm Ann Curry. And I'm Stone Phillips. Thanks for watching.